Azure encryption, um, currently there are two methods for encrypting information in Azure. The first one is currently enabled by default and that is the storage service encryption or SSE. Uh, effectively what that is is Microsoft have automatically enabled encryption on all the storage accounts, any, ex any existing storage accounts that were there um, and also any new storage accounts that get created will automatically have encryption enabled. So as soon as you write anything to a storage account it gets encrypted and as you read stuff out of the storage account it gets decrypted automatically completely um, transparent to you know all the resources users etc so that's great uh, one thing to be wary of there is that if you had a storage account that was in use before SSE was enabled um, any existing data in the storage account won't be encrypted uh, the only way to encrypt that is to read it and then write it back in again um, how you do that you know, there are several methods of doing it some people have created new storage accounts and just copied everything from the old storage account to the new storage account that works quite well can take a bit of time um, so that meets the basic GDPR uh, requirements for encrypting data at rest and it's, say it's completely transparent um, to everybody and all the resources. So there's also disk encryption. Now originally I was a bit confused as to why you'd want to enable disk encryption if the storage account was already encrypted. Um, my thought was that the VHDs are stored in a storage account. The storage account is encrypted via SSE. So why would you want to enable BitLocker effectively on the VMs? Because you're going to you're going to encrypt the uh, the VHDs, and then the VHDs are going to be encrypted again when they're in the storage account. But someone pointed out to me that um, without uh, disk encryption or BitLocker, uh, a, a trusted user could potentially copy uh, a VHD or a series of VHDs from a storage account, which automatically uh, decrypts them. They are that they can then potentially be mounted on a machine and, and, and you know looked at and data taken off that disk. So to mitigate that, what you would do is enable BitLocker on the VM, uh, make sure that you BitLocker the OS drive and all the data drives, so that that means that if someone were to copy a disk from a storage account, um, the disk itself, the VHD, the underlying VHD, is still encrypted. So if you try and mount it on another machine, it won't work because it's you know it's it's enabled a BitLocker. So my mistake initially couldn't really understand why you'd want to double encrypt but uh, that does make sense that you'd want to run them both. <laughs>